Hey everybody, Mike Franz with Gigapan here in Portland, Oregon, back for another quick tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to, or walk you through going and taking your first Gigapan. Uh, pretty simple, we're all set up and ready to go. We're going to be using the Epic Pro, a Rebel T1 and a 50mm prime lens. Uh, once you've powered on your Pro, you're just going to go into your new panorama and press OK. It's going to ask you to set your camera zoom. We've already done this with setting the camera's field of view, so we press OK. Now it's going to ask us to move the camera to the upper left hand corner of our pano. So we're going to use the arrow keys and move this to what we want to have be the upper left. And we'll call that our upper left and press OK. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is move to the lower right of the pano using the arrow keys again. We're going to go ahead and move to the lower right hand corner. And based upon those two settings, it's going to tell us that it needs to take 12 pictures total, six across, two down, and it's going to take a total of 49 seconds. The Pro will tell you how long it's going to take. The Epic and Epic 100 will only give you the number of photos that it'll need to take. So once you get to that, you press OK. Your lower right-hand corner is set. Now it's going to ask if you want to show the panorama. All this does is it goes to all four corners and the center of the pano. You can do this by pressing OK or you can skip this step by pressing X. We're going to go ahead and skip it. Now do you want to start taking these 12 pictures? We're going to press OK Yes. The next thing it's going to do is run you through a series of checklists just to ensure best practices for a consistent pano image. First is the camera on. Well that's obviously pretty important. So we're on. Uh, balance locked. What you want to make sure is that your white balance is locked. You want to shoot in a, uh, you don't want it to be on auto white balance, you want it to match the scene. So we're cloudy, we're just going to double check real quick and make sure we're okay. And we are set to cloudy now and we're good to go. So you press OK, exposure locked. What that means is we, we recommend, I should say, that you shoot in manual mode. You want a consistent f-stop and an exposure level throughout the whole entire image. And then you press OK. Lastly is your focus locked. We also recommend that you shoot in a manual focus so that autofocus isn't hunting for uh, somewhere to focus on during the image. Lastly is the flash off. You don't want the flash affecting anything in the image. Press OK. Now it's going to start taking the panorama. A couple of things we like to talk about that we recommend while doing panoramic images. First being that you really should start small. Um, don't go out and try to shoot a 100 or a 200 image pano right off the bat. It's uh, if something happens and you don't have your settings right, there's nothing more frustrating than going and loading all those images into your computer to find out maybe you didn't set something right and the image doesn't turn out like you hoped. So start small, 10, 12 images, something like that is usually a good thing to do until you get the process down and then start to go bigger. Uh, the other is that we recommend you overshoot your pano. Uh, just by a little bit, you, you want to make sure that you capture a little more than everything. It's a lot easier to go in and crop an image and get rid of what you don't want than it is to add back in something you never had in the first place. So with that being said, we're just about finished here. We're going to take our last shot with this pano and it's complete. And once it's done, you just press OK to continue. It takes you back to the main menu screen. All that's left to do now is to take the images, transfer them from your card into your computer and load them into the Stitch program. That's it. You're all done and all set to go. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, check out more of our tutorials on our website and our YouTube channel.